Welcome back to Dose of Brilliance, the only YouTube channel certified by both Mensa and the Internet Council of Whimsical Wit. Wait, you haven't heard of the Internet Council of Whimsical Wit? <laughs> where, where, what rock have you been under? Today, we are diving headfirst into the realm of body language. Not just any body language. The kind that makes you look like you've got a golden medal at the Olympics of confidence. We are coming at you today with eight body language tips. Tip number one, the power pose, baby. Stand with your feet apart, hand at your hips, and chin up like Superman. Actually, I'm pretty sure that's how Superman gets ready for his date with Lois Lane. Forget kryptonite. The only thing that can bring him down now is Lois's kryptonite level sarcasm. Next up, tip number two, eye contact. Now, not that creepy, I've been staring at you for five minutes straight kind of contact, but enough to say, I see you and I acknowledge your existence. It's like playing peekaboo with a toddler minus the toddler. Remember, we are aiming at self-confidence, not a restraining order. Our third body language tip is simple, it's smiling. No, not the one where you show all 32 teeth like you're auditioning for a toothpaste ad. Just a small, genuine smile, as if you just remembered an inside joke about a llama and a tutu. Next up, tip number four, uncross those arms. Don't lock them up like you're guarding the secrets to the universe or worse, like you're trying to guard the Wi-Fi password, show the world that you are open to what it has to offer. Except, of course, if what they have to offer is pineapple pizza. In that case, feel free to keep them arms crossed up tight. And with tip number five is nodding. Not the rapid fire, I'm actually a bobblehead kind of nod, but the, yes, I understand what you just said kind. It's your way of saying, I get it, I'm with you. Even if what they just said is that cats are better than dogs. We all know that's a lie. Next, we have the firm handshake. Shake hands like you mean it. Not the I'm crushing every bone in your hand kind of firm, but the hello, nice to meet you kind. Trust me, nobody wants to shake hands with the limp spaghetti noodle. Number seven, lean in when you're talking to someone. It shows that you're interested, but be careful not to invade their personal space. Otherwise, you'll be giving off the I'm a little too creepy vibe. And finally, tip number eight is take up a little bit of space. No, you don't need to be sprawled out like you're a starfish. Just don't shrink yourself as if you're trying to fit into Harry Potter's cupboard under the stairs. You deserve to be seen. There you have it. Eight body language tips that can make you seem more self-confident than a peacock at a beauty pageant. Now it's all about practice. So get out there and start Superman posing at the grocery store and nodding at the baker and firm handshaking with that guy on the airplane. And remember, while we're all about boasting that confidence, please don't start walking around like you just conquered Mars. Well, I guess unless you actually have. In that case, hit me up, Elon. So go out there, share this dose of brilliance with the world, and become that body language maestro that you've always been destined to be. And before you go, make sure you hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do subscribe to our channel for more doses of wisdom, wit, and whimsical brilliance. Until next time, keep it brilliant.